a lot of people are attracted to fashion. It looks glamorous. So the show, the lights, the camera and everything. But behind the scenes, there's a lot of frustration that like any other career path, because the creative sector, especially in the Caribbean, it is not regarded as high as it should. So sometimes you are going to feel frustrated because you're going to feel as if you are, you're going nowhere. Because there had, I had my moments when I did, but because of the love of it, those are fleeting moments. Because of the love of it, I was like, listen, this is going to work. I always liked fashion because my aunt was like a fashion plate, so I would stuff that can't fit her, always altered for me, you know, because she always had a whole lot of stuff. One of the reasons I incorporate domestic violence in some of my fashion shows is because it has a whole special place here. The home I grew up in as a child, I have seen it all. When I was walking the seven avenues and nine streets in my small village, selling cakes and pastries and buns, whatever it was, to help my mom financially. I knew this was a transit point. Actually, before my own clothing brand, I had a shop, I started a shop. And um, people would come in and look at me and said, what you're wearing, how come we not seeing it here? But it was always my own concepts. Sometimes you have to create your own stage when there's no stage for you. So when I moved to the city, I mean, this little Georgetown girl, this little country girl, no, no, I didn't know a lot of people, nobody in the fashion industry, nobody. I always reflect on how difficult it was. And that's what, that was one of the reasons I did the designer's portfolio where we have these young creative minds and we mold them and it's like a competition. And so many careers of these kind of designers have been launched through that. We have, a, we have something special to offer the international fashion plate because we're different. We get from our environment. I'm sure if you talk to Trinidad and designers, they're gonna tell you other things that they pick up from the environment. And people that are looking at us as Caribbean people, they think that we are special, we're paradise people. We, only we don't know that we are so special. I never really consider myself somebody that really like writing. And um, so, you know, sometimes God has plans for your life. So I think that is the phase of my life that he took me to a stage two decades of fashion design. And then it was like, soon as I get there, it was like a different trajectory. And I do believe with determination, faith, focus, self-discipline and consistency can make any dream a reality.